Tracking your expenses is important for several reasons. It helps you achieve financial stability, make informed decisions, and work towards your financial goals. It also helps you in budgeting, financial awareness, control spending, savings goals, and debt management. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to create your very own Notion expense tracker. You can download this free template by clicking the link in the description below. Using this template, you will be able to track all your expenses for today, last 7 days, this month, then this year. You will also be able to categorize all your expenses in various categories. You will also be able to weave all your expenses within a particular category. And then finally, you can also track all of your expenses in a single database like this, irrespective of the date and the category. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Create a new page and call it Notion Expense Tracker. Click enter, go to the three dots at the right and select full width. Now create a new callout and call it as all expenses. Select the text, underline it and give it a color of red. Now select the icon as per your convenience. I am going ahead with this icon. Now create a database and call it all expenses. Go to the properties of the database, layout, hide the database title and open pages in center peak. Now drag this database inside the all expenses column and delete the tags column from here. Add a new column and select the number and rename this column as amount. The number format can be selected as US dollars. Create a new property and call this as date. Create another property of type text and call it summary which is an optional field. Now create a new template for this database, call it new expense and select this icon over here. Now set this new expense template that you had created as the default for this database for all views. Now I will be starting to add all the expenses inside the all expenses database. After you add all your entries inside the all expenses database, go ahead and select the calculate in below the amount column and select it as sum. That way you will be able to calculate the sum of all the expenses. Now let's create a new database just above the all expenses database. Create a callout first and call it categories. Select the text, underline it and give it a color of blue. Select the appropriate icon. I will be selecting this icon. Now create a new database and call it as categories. Go to the properties of the database, select layout, hide the database title and open pages in center peak. Now drag this database inside the categories callout and delete the tags column. Delete all these entries and create a new template. Call it as new category and give it any icon that you want. I will be selecting the same icon. Now set the new template that you had created as the default template. Now I will be populating all my categories inside the categories database one by one. After you populate all the categories inside the categories database, go on to the properties of the database, layout and select gallery layout. Go to card preview and select none. Go to card size and select size as small. Next up, you can create a new callout and call it expenses. Select the text, underline it and give it a color of red. Now select the icon appropriately. Next up, create a linked view of a database, select all expenses from here, select table and drag this database inside the expenses callout. Now name this view as today. Select the filter button, select date and select 
this day now create new view select all expenses select table and call it as last seven days now select the filter button select date select past one week now create a new view select all expenses select table and call it as this month select the filter button select date and set it as this month now create a new view again select all expenses select table and call it as this year select the filter button select date instead of this week select as this year now there we have it we have the expenses where we can see expenses for today last seven days this month this year we have categories and all expenses now the only thing remaining is to categorize all these expenses so we create new property of relation select the categories database from here show on categories select the limit as one and then select add relation now you can name it as category since it is only a one is to one relation and click enter now the dinner party can be considered as food and drink app and magic keyboard under entertainment nike shoes under shopping shirt under shopping and apple magic trackpad under entertainment now you can go ahead and click a category say home and utilities since home and utilities does not have any expenses under it i will be selecting food and drink now i will be creating a call out and calling it as expenses underline it and select the red color give it a icon which is this one now create a linked view of a database select the all expenses from here select table drag this database inside the call out select filter select category and select only the food and drink category since we have we are inside the food and drink category if i select the food and drink category this should only show me the categories that have expenses with food and drink similarly you can do the same thing for all the other categories like home and utilities health and well-being till personal that is it this was our basic notion expense tracker if you want to download this template and make full use of it you can do so by clicking the link in the description and downloading it from there and i will be seeing you in more notion uh, tutorials where i will be sharing how you can build any notion template very easily until then peace out